I may not be the most energetic YouTuber on the platform. All right, I'm aware of this. Um, and to combat this problem, I have purchased for myself a little bit of, um, where is it good to put that? Uh, a little bit of uh, bottled insanity, all right? This is, um, they're smelling salts. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use them up today. Raid Shadow Legends, Raycon Earbuds, uh, NordVPN, and now Magic Spoon Healthy Cereal, or Cereal, or however you, I've been told I pronounce it weird, I don't care, General Sam has been sponsored by this guy. So this is cereal, it says healthy cereal that doesn't taste like this box. The high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, nothing artificial, childlike cereal for grownups. And Wendigoon swears by it, my long lost uh, older brother, he swears by this. And I love the guy, I really do, and I I, I wanna trust that it's as good as he says it is, but I, I don't know if I'm there yet. And so today we're gonna find out, is everyone that's repping this a l l l full of it? Or are they telling the truth? And you know that you can trust me because I'm not sponsored. All right. Got a couple of flavors that we're gonna be working with today. S'mores, cinnamon roll, frosted, and uh, maple waffle. I gotta say, I love the branding. I mean, it's very, it's very expensive cereal. So if the money's going to go anywhere, it's probably going to go into the, the design and the marketing. We will first start with s'mores. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how nice that looks. That does look really nice. You can smell it from the outside of the, without even opening it. It does smell very nice. What is it? Zero total grams of sugar, five net carbs, 14 grams of protein. Contains milk protein blend. Whey concentrate, that's gonna be a problem due to my um, lactose intolerance, hence the, hence the milk. That's, that smells real good. All right. Okay. Where are the cameras? Where are the cameras? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> what is this? I would say this is one of the better cereals I've ever tasted. That does not include the fact that this is a healthy cereal. There was nothing that seemed off about it. it. Just tasted like normal cereal. A cup of it is 150 calories and 14 grams of protein. How many cups of this could I have? If I, if I, if I was trying to eat in a deficit, if I was trying to hit 1800 calories a day, 12, right? Yes. I could eat 12 cups of this in a day and still lose weight. If that's all I ate, 12 cups a day. All right, well, this doesn't make any sense to me. Now it is 10-ish dollars for a box. I was I was getting nervous about opening all these, uh, considering that they would probably go stale by the time I got to all of them. But given how much I like these, I don't think that'll be a problem. Oh, right. Cinnamon roll. This one has less protein, less calories. Um, so, you, you know, you'll probably end up eating more of this guy. And it has a cowboy.
I don't understand. This one's interesting because I, I would almost go so far as to say it tastes a little bit more like coffee, like a latte or something with cinnamon sprinkled into it. That's what this tastes like. It has a coffee-ish flavor in, you know, in my opinion. Um, and I'm no cereal sommelier, but contains milk. All right. That camera died because internal temp got too high. I'm interested to see what, what this tastes like. Frosted. I like this color scheme the best. I am a sucker. Oh, okay, bear in mind, this one's got a little bit more sodium. This is not sodium free. It didn't open right, this isn't my fault. Like vanilla and cream, it smells like gum. Um, it smells like a glazed donut. I have nothing else to add. This one's actually a little bit nuts. At first, I didn't think it tasted like very much, but now, it is really, really good. This one tastes almost like, um, it tastes like Rice Krispies. If you took some of the intense sweetness and sugar out of Rice Krispies, this is what you're getting. This flavor right here. I wanna know what artificial sweeteners in here. Okay, sweetener blend, allulose. I don't know what that is. Monk fruit extract. Stevia extract. Now I, I hate, I hate stevia. Whenever stevia is in something, I know it's there. And immediately I, my mouth says, yuck. This, it is not detectable in the, in the flavor profile of this cereal. It is way, it is way too good. Oh, hey. Not a low calorie food. I don't know if you can see that. Not a low calorie food. Let's see what they mean by 150. For a cup? That's not that bad. They all say that apparently. Weird. Okay, this one's supposed to be maple waffle, but this one's the first one to actually smell fake. It smells artificial. What I imagine like the cafeteria at like an old folks house smells like, or like old folks home, like a nursery, like a nursing home. It's like a nursing home cafeteria. The only room for improvement at Magic Spoon or, or for the Magic Spoon uh, company is evident with this box of cereal. This was not the best. I would 100% eat this and it would be a joy to eat this on a diet. But this is the first one that does taste like artificial. Uh, the, the sweetener tastes fake. Um, you can almost like taste the protein. If you've ever had like a Quest protein bar, especially like the the cookie dough one, it kind of tastes like this. Uh, I didn't really taste maple. If this is the worst they can do, I mean, I'd buy some stock in Magic Spoon. Let's just say that. I mean, it'd be a lot nicer if I could find this in stores. To be fair, I ordered this and it showed up like two days later. Like I'm pretty sure I ordered it on like a Saturday and it showed up um, on like a Monday. Anyway, some more's 10 out of 10. Cinnamon roll was really good, a little less flavorful, um, not, not particularly sweet, but didn't taste very artificial. If you like black coffee with cinnamon and a little bit of, you know, non-fat milk, <clears throat> an eight out of 10. You know, I'm not, I'm not in love with you. I'm not dreaming about you. It's still good though. It's like Rice Krispies with like 30% of the flavor removed. And it's still good though, all right? It's still a good cereal. Maple waffle, 
Not my favorite. Uh, it's not like the only one without sugar or, or highest protein. It actually has higher fat than the rest. I don't know what the redeeming value of this one is. I'm gonna say, did I rate this? 6.5 out of 10, 4.5 out of 10. I'd eat it, but it's a little bit below average. A little bit above average, substantially above average, amazing. I, and you know what? I think the price is a little bit warranted because one box of this cereal is the price of like two or three protein bars. I mean, protein bars are pretty overpriced. If you're really trying to get off sugar and you're having a hard time with it, I think I think these are a good idea. Windigoon, I wish you would just hurry up and adopt me because it's only a matter of time before the blood test comes back and I find out I am your son. Especially when you see me with hair. It's gonna, I mean... I hope this wet your appetite a little uh, while bigger projects are in the works. Um, you know, I'm not always the guy doing voiceovers um, with little pictures while I argue a uh, point no one cares about. Sometimes I'm just a man-eating cereal. Today was one of those days, and today you got to be a part of that. And, you, and bye.